Good grief. You're nearly out of gas. Oh, okay, okay. Everybody keep their eyes open for Bucky's. Why am I Bucky's? Flo? Harry, you know I always buy my Bucky's beaver nuggets. Flo, you're crazy. Last year we couldn't find a Bucky's. The whole time we were here in Florida. Yeah, keep your little eyes open, everybody. Florida. 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 St. Augustine. Wikiwachi Springs. Fun, sun, sand, and sea. And believe it or not, gators can sing. It's me, Bucky Beaver. When you're in Florida and need somewhere to fuel up or take a long, refreshing pit, stop into a Bucky's for a real fine gas stop experience, Southern style. We've got all the prime rib and lobster you can eat. And did I mention you can pee here? Get on down to Bucky's to see what all the ruckus is about. It's actually better than Japanese 7 Elevens, I swear. We're at the Bucky's in Baytown Beach. Here's the, the Bucky guy. We honestly haven't given Bucky's much of a chance. We stopped at one. Where was the one we stopped at? It was at the one after south of the border. I became an extreme hater. Yeah, we walked into the one near south of the border and it was like so packed and like such a long line that we never even tried another Bucky's since then. So let's see if this is different. It looks different already. Like not nearly as many people. I think the ones that are right off of uh, I-95 are the really crazy ones, right? And here's a... All right, so we're gonna be getting some beaver nuggets, some honey glazed pecans, some beef jerky, and a coconut bar, and we're gonna get our pressed penny here. Prepared this trip with shiny pennies. Yeah, we have a whole Not bunch a of quarters. quarters and pennies from our uh, vending machines at the store. Wait, which one did we want? Uh, I guess that's good. I was gonna say this one. No? Well, you have to crank it to it. Yeah. The first one? No, this one right here. What? This one. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> he flies out of there. It's a little bit off center, but it's fine though. So yeah, like this Bucky's really isn't as busy as a lot of the ones I think. Like the oh, one this we. This so crazy. The so one... the fact that you're saying this isn't busy is like insane. Yeah. <laughs> but the one time we went in, it was like, was it like no, after COVID? The ones. And it was like so crowded. Yeah, the ones that are busy are like the ones with an hour long line, <laughs> you know. That's cool. Four dollars. Yeah. There's a whole wall of jerky over there. Body by Bucky's. <laughs> Booty by Bucky's. Booty by Bucky's.
That's some pretty cool Bucky Magnus. Yeah, what, why do they capitalize so much on the, really nice. on the bathrooms? Because it was really nice. Really? Yeah. Bucky's beach towels. I don't know if they have all the same merch at every Bucky's, but it seems like there's a lot more beach stuff here because we're at Daytona Beach, right? Can you wear this? It, I felt like when we walked into the one in uh, South Carolina, they didn't have that big of a merch section, and that's one of the reasons why I was like, who cares about this, right? I was like, there's nothing really here. Bucky's vibes. But yeah, this one has a lot more like beach stuff, so I think this is... It's because it's in Daytona Beach. I got Florida souvenirs and stuff too. Yeah, did we get? We got one of those, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Yeah, they just have like a bunch of just Florida stuff. Stuff that you find like at every uh, souvenir shop in Florida. Beyonce, Golden Book. There's a Taylor Swift one. That's what I was looking for. What the hell? Betty White, Polly. It's kind of crazy. Uh, right, yeah. It's not Bucky's branded though. I want that. <laughs> what the hell? 120 bucks. Bucky's uh, pool floaties. Look at that one. <laughs> River tube. This could be you. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna go pay for our snacks here. We're a perfect Florida double feature. You should watch Monster and Ernest Saves Splash Mountain. And Ernest Saves Christmas. That was fun in Florida too. Double feature. <laughs> Monster. Charlie's Theron. Mm -hmm. I think the Ern actually I think Ernest Saves Splash Mountain was from when it opened at Disneyland a couple years before. It opened first in California. Monster and Ernest Saves Christmas. That's the double feature. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving the Daytona Beach area and we're headed to Dunlaw and Sugar Mill Gardens. And then we're gonna swing by the Eileen Warner's bar, the Hus Resort Bar. And we're gonna see what time it is then, and then we'll decide what we're gonna do after that. Okay, we're here at the Dunn Lawton Sugar Mill Gardens. This is a free attraction here near uh, Daytona Beach. It's the site of the first uh, theme park in Florida called Bongo Land in the 1940s, and I think it was 1948. It's kind of short-lived, only lasted about four years or so, but it's on this old uh, sugar mill plantation that opened in the early 1800s. So it's a really old site. And uh, I guess it went, it closed after like the Civil War and uh, this, the city bought it in the 60s and turned it into these gardens. But yeah, there's some of the remaining uh, Bongo Land uh, statues here that we're gonna look for. It's all Daniel Steele. <laughs> see if there was some of you see in there. Yeah. But yeah, this is free, so I mean, that's cool. I just heard of lizard. 
Yeah. I heard another one. There's lizards. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think I think these sculptures are all spread out throughout the park because they were part of a miniature train ride uh, that went around the park. So they're they're spread out. We'll just have to walk around and look for them. I think I see one up there in the distance. Yeah, I guess this uh, local dermatologist guy um, decided he wanted to open a roadside attraction. So, it's a shame it did, he didn't make a go of it, really. It's, it wasn't really successful, but it's cool that... Uh, these gardens have been preserved and that they kept the sculptures from the from the attraction here. This is nice and relaxing back here. There's like hardly anybody here. This is nice. This looks like this is something that was probably here when it was the sugar mill. This is some kind of milling device here. Looks like maybe, uh, here it says, animal powered rollers used to crush sugar cane. You can get these sugar cane drinks and they, they take like the whole stalks and they put them through the rollers and then ju juice actually comes out of them. And you can get fresh sugar cane juice. Something they should try in America. I mean, I've never seen anywhere you can get that in America. So. Where was that dinosaur? I saw a dinosaur off in the distance. Oh, here it is. Dimetrodon. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, look. <laughs> That's cool. There's a lizard on the terrible lizard. And these are an old lizards, and they, they're camouflaged, so he's gray right now because he's on top of this concrete dinosaur. I don't know if these were painted when... Uh, they were part of the attraction, but yeah, they're they're all like gray concrete. I mean, this was I mean this was 1948, so there were probably weren't, weren't a lot of other uh, you know dinosaur sculptures made before that time. So uh, I don't know if like they painted them back then or what, but. Yeah, they're made out of con concrete. <laughs> I think it's funny that that uh, knoll lizard's hanging out on this. <laughs> okay, up here is the Bongo Land section. I think this is where most of the dinosaur sculptures are. Danger dinosaur crossing. <laughs> <laughs> they have some like cutouts of dinosaurs
Here's the Stegosaurus. And here's a little placard that tells you about the bongo land. I wonder why it only lasted four years. But yeah, all these all these were part of a train ride. Like a train ride went went through and went around all the the sculptures and stuff. Considered the first theme park in Florida. Yeah. I guess that all so many leaves fall off these trees; they need to rake them. Yeah, right. There's probably so many like spiders and lizards in there. Lizards. Florida Hammock Trail. Now this is some old Florida stuff here. This is what you call old Florida. Just like these uh you know historic sites that people came to that were like just na like park nature parks and stuff and like the springs and stuff like that yeah wiki wachi would be considered that silver springs There's one really cool one I saw a picture of. It's like a giant ground sloth. Like one of those big crazy looking mammal things. I want to find that one. It's like walking through the rainforest. Yeah, I can see why someone would like make this into a dinosaur attraction, right? It's like a little rainforest. I wonder if like sugar cane like still grows like anywhere around here or... this might have just been the mill I don't know if they actually grew sugar cane here what did you see a lizard what uh -huh. Oh, that is cool looking. I think this is the ground sloth here. Yep, giant ground sloth. Oh, eyes like eye, like goo. <laughs> it looks like googly eyes on him. <laughs> yeah. No, it just looks like googly eyes. It's like, I don't know, like glass or something. I think this is made out of, is that made out of wood? No, it just has like texturing on it. Yeah, this is the coolest looking one so far. Oh, it looks crazy from the front. This is really nice for being a three park, right? <laughs> this is cool. This looks like some more ruins of the sugar mill here. Fern grottos.
or something, probably from the sugar mill. trying to find the rest of the dinosaurs. I don't know how many total dinosaurs there are, to be honest. Even without the dinosaurs, though, like, this is a cool place to come if you just like to take a nice little nature hike. Here's some kind of sugar cane milling thing. So there's a sign saying what this is used for. Some sort of amphitheater thing over here with seat, seating area right here. I think there's a dinosaur down here. It's like a maze through here. Oh, this is a big one up here. Triceratops. Oh, that's a cool looking one. Like the face on it. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, um, dinosaur stuff from that long ago is different looking because they didn't have a lot of different uh, scientific interpretations of what a dinosaur looked like that that long ago. So, like, you have different looking, uh, you know, facial structures and things like that. It's interesting to see, you know, what they interpreted a dinosaur to look like okay so we found four of the dinosaurs now I think I'm not sure how many total Alright, now we're back to this section. I'm gonna have to go on my phone and see you know how many there are here and where they're located. I didn't see this. Looks like a fairy uh a known fairy village up here. Some old bicycle. There's a fountain over there. It's a little gnome village. This is cute. It's also a lizard, a lizard village. Yeah, this uh, gnome village is really cute.
Yeah, I'm not sure if I saw all the dinosaurs or not. I saw four of them. And that's that little amphitheater thing. It's like a fountain over here. Oh, here's another dinosaur that I haven't seen yet. Oh wait, now that's the ground sloth. I did see that. Yeah, this is my favorite one. I think that might be all of them. Let's see what this is over here. Part of the sugar mill. There's a pamphlet for Bongo Land. There's a pamphlet for just the sugar mill attraction. And this is the main part of the sugar mill here. Wow, look at this. That's cool. The engine room and the boiling room. This is how they process the sugar. There's like a little Zen Japanese garden here. All these mushroom guys over here, mushroom people. This is cool.
think there's one dinosaur that I missed. But yeah, I walked through it like I walked around about three times. This is a cool place, open every day, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. free. So definitely an attraction worth checking out here in Florida. Here's the sign over here. Yeah, there was a um, battle during the Second Seminole War in this area, and it, I guess they destroyed the original uh, mill, and then they re had to rebuild it. 1836, during the Second Seminole War. Yeah, the, the extensive system of sugar plantations on Florida's east coast was eventually destroyed by Seminole raids. And yeah, like because of that, the sugar industry never recovered, but they did restore the grounds then and yeah, attempted to make this into a tourist attraction. You know, they could charge money for this if they wanted. I would, I would pay to come here, but since it's free, that makes it even better. Yeah, if you're in the Daytona Beach area, this is definitely worth a stop. It's about 15 minutes uh, southwest of uh, Daytona Beach.